Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist here at American RV. Today we're going to go over the 2016 Sabre 33 CKTS. It's a beautiful mid-profile unit, it's going to be a rear living fifth wheel, you have great seats straight across, you're going to have your TV, fireplace, everything you're going to want, three slides. Let's go ahead and start on some of the outside features. Right up front you're going to get your fiberglass front cap on here, LED strip that's going to run right underneath which is going to help light it up at night. Also you'll notice you're going to have your Rotaflex trail air pin box on here which is going to help take some of that bucking and chucking out as you're driving down the road. As we move underneath we'll look at our front storage. So nice large front storage on here as you can see big beautiful open area this will open up for our spare tire right there. Underneath we do have our JT strong arms that's going to help support the fifth wheel that way you don't have to have the tripod on the nose. A lot easier to use and it's going to be a lot better looking. If we come around to the side here we're going to have propane tank. We'll have 130 pounder on this side, 130 pounder on the other side for 60 pounds of propane. And right underneath here you're going to have your LP quick connect. So if you do have a grill or anything else you want to hook up to the propane you can absolutely do so. That way it draws off your 60 pound tanks instead of having to buy your little Coleman bottles. Here's going to be our garage storage. As you can see again it's going to lead into that front storage. Same area, nice and large. Right here you do have uh, outside TV hookup. So if you do want outside TV you can go ahead and hook it up right there. Leave it right here in your garage space. Plenty of space for it right there. Also you'll have your Eureka central vac system and that's where it's going to empty out. As you just saw slam latch baggage doors nice and simple. They're also going to be your steel so when it hits it's actually going to shut. That's what that loud noise was. Not going to be your plastic ones that sometimes gu uh, gum up and won't shut. We look up top, you have a power awning. Perfect place for the power awning, this is exactly where you want it to be. That way you can sit out around here, if you do hook up a TV you can go ahead and watch that. But that's going to roll out, give you lots of shade and of course protect you from the rain. Underneath that you're going to have your outside speakers, that way you can sit out here again, listen to music, that will be controlled by your multimedia center inside. However, if you do have an iPod or uh, other mobile device you can connect to that via Bluetooth and connect wirelessly and go ahead and use that to control your music. Also you'll notice you're going to have frameless windows on here. Frameless windows are going to be advantageous, A they're just going to look a lot nicer, B you can keep them open when they rain because the way they open they're going to tilt open so you're not going to get any rain water in there. And also the seal is going to be behind the window itself which is going to help protect that seal from UV and other outside elements. Up above the power awning you'll have your rain gutters, you'll see it's above your awning. It's also going to go all the way along the roof line and you'll have one above the slide. That way the water isn't going to sit here and fall down on your face as you walk out the door. It's going to go to specific points. Getting into the coach is absolute breeze. You have three steps here. You're going to have a grab handle. That way you can use it from the first step all the way into the coach. Of course this will be one of, your, one of your three slides here. Big, tall, vertical, beautiful windows. Again, they're those frameless windows. They look absolutely wonderful and they're going to be very functional. As we move around to the back of the coach, one of the other things of note that I would like to point out is going to be right here. That's going to be your tailgate storage system. So this is uh, wonderful because you can drop this down. Perfect if you have any kind of totes or anything you need to take with you, like you know big boxes. You can put bikes on here. If you need extra, you know, table space for crock pots or something, you can drop it down. Piece, put a piece of wood on there. You're good to go. Also right here you're going to have a ladder to climb up onto the roof. It will be a fully walkable roof so if you have to get up there for any kind of maintenance you can certainly do that. Nice big rear picture window. Very large that way if you're backed up to a beautiful site you can enjoy that view. It's not going to be blocked off. And then up above that you'll notice you have a little black module. That's going to be your backup camera. That's a fantastic system. It's going to be a lifesaver when you're backing up. You don't have to worry about running into trees. You know if there's big stumps or rocks you'll be able to to avoid them with that right there. Also your rear stabilizers back here are going to be electric. So there's a button right on the other side here as well as a light for uh, electric hookup but you just touch the button and those will go ahead and come down as well as retract for you. 
Welcome to the inside of the Sabre 33 CKTS. Like I mentioned, we're outside, big, beautiful, open floor plan. You're gonna have dual opposing slides, which allows the center island in here in just a ton of space. But why don't we go ahead and start right over here with one of our slides and our freestanding table. So as you'll notice, you're gonna get four chairs. All the chairs do lift up and you get additional storage right underneath the seat. Behind those, you'll see you have a scones here, nice wall scones. The, these are gonna be the beautiful windows we saw when we were outside on the slide, letting in a ton of natural light. And then right here is going to be our two Lazy Boy recliners. Super comfortable, Lazy Boy name brand. You can kick back, relax, and enjoy the TV. It's gonna be straight across, which I'll show you in just a moment. But here in the back of the coach, we're gonna have an extremely comfortable tri-fold sofa. This is gonna be the preferable type of sofa to have in an RV. You're not gonna have your bar like your standard uh, residential sofa you'd have at home, and you're not gonna have an air mattress that's gonna deflate on you. So nice and comfortable. That way if you do have guests, they do have an additional place to sleep. Of course, you don't have to let them know, but there is that option. On both sides also, you will get uh, some extra shelving, as well as electrical outlets on both ends that way if you want to uh, sit there and play on your iPad you can do so and charge it up also I mentioned we were outside nice big rear picture window huge window here all LED lights throughout the coach up top you're going to have some additional storage perfect space for board games maybe some extra blankets for the guests when they stay but just excellent storage there now here is really gonna be the pride and joy. This is what I mentioned. You can sit in your Lazy Boy, look straight across at the beautiful 42 inch TV. I know it's not here, we do take it out, but it will come with it when you purchase. So there that is, just really enjoying kicking back. You get extra storage up top here. And one of the things I really like that they do is this is gonna have your HDMI port, so you are able to get high def, which is then going to be connected to your multimedia center right here. Now this is going to be a uh, radio, as well as the DVD player, and you will have several different speaker zones, both inside and you can, uh, like I mentioned, we were outside, you can listen to the music out there. Right in front here, you do get a nice additional drawer. You can see that, open it up, great space. You're also gonna have more storage on the side here. And then right here in the center is going to be your fireplace. Now I do get some customers that mention, oh, the fireplace is overkill, I would never use it. You know what, don't say that until you try it. This is a wonderful, wonderful space heater essentially. It runs off electric. I mean, it really does a great job of taking the chill off in this room. So if it starts to get cold at night, you can kick that on whether you want the flame look or not, it can still put out heat. And once you use it, I promise you, you will enjoy it. Right here is going to be great pantry space. We start to move into the kitchen. So you have to have pantry space. That's what we get here. That's great to have. You'll also get your Dometic fridge and freezer combo. It's gonna open up like so. This will run off of both LP and electric and it will have automatic switch over. So that way you can run it off LP when you're going down the road. As soon as you get to your campsite, go ahead and plug it into shore power and that is going to switch over for you. Now I really love they put this in here too. You get a nice big center island. Solid surface countertops in here. They're gorgeous, very functional. And this island is gonna be long enough. It's great prep space. Also, you'll have your sink top covers here. As you take a look, you'll have your stone cast undermount sink. It's not gonna scratch as easy as your stainless steel. You'll have your smaller bowl here on the right. And then you're also going to get your larger bowl here on the left. That way it's nice and easy. You can wash on the left, rinse on the right. And that's of course gonna be aided by this nice high rise industrial looking stainless steel faucet. Also underneath, we take a look. You, not only is this gonna be functional on top, but you also get great storage space underneath. Perfect place for a trash can. It does come with it. Uh, one thing to note, this unit does have a filter on it. So you'll have a whole house filter. So that way you will get the filtered water because as I'm sure you know, when you're camping, some of the places, the water isn't the best. Right here, you'll get a full bank of drawers, four drawers going all the way down, a must in any RV kitchen. 
As we move to the other side here, nice low countertop. I like that they do this too, because sometimes you know, you're know you not gonna be the tallest person ever, and you can't reach the microwave. So they kind of shrunk all this down, so this is nice and low, easy to cook on. You're gonna have your glass countertop on here, again, to utilize the countertop space, but when you're ready to use it, you just flip it up, just one, two, just like that, super simple. You'll have your three burner stove top on there, as well as an oven down below in case you wanna bake anything. Also, you have this beautiful decorative backsplash over here, and underneath you are going to have an electrical outlet in case you wanna have a coffee maker, it's a perfect place for it right there. Up above, you'll have additional storage on the side right here and you will have your Magic Chef microwave here. Nice large microwave, that way you can actually fit items in there. You know, sometimes they put in these little tiny things that are not usable, not in the case with Sabre. Last but not least, right here we get more additional storage, nice deep storage right here. Again, more storage here, just great pantry space. This, this one's all about the kitchen. This floor plan has a great rear living room. You get this wonderful kitchen, right? You can put a TV here if you want. That way you can watch TV while you're cooking. More storage underneath right here. Additional storage area here as well. Also, we can open this up. Check this out, it's gonna be a pull-out pantry. That's perfect for any canned goods, spices, everything else you wanna put in there. It just pulls out, goes back in, snaps shut, and you have additional storage up top. Last but not least, as we make our way around, you do have storage up here, a little bit tougher to reach, but again, they're just utilizing space. And then right here is going to be a coat rack. So right as you come in the door, you can hang your coats up. Here's all your controls. Everything from your lights to your slide, your awning, water heater, water pump, as well as your tank monitoring systems. Right before you go up the stairs, you will have light switch here as well as thermostat. And then right on the stair, right here is going to be your central vac. So you can just plug your hose right in there, vacuum throughout the entire coach. When we were outside, I did show you where the dump was. One last thing to note before we go upstairs and check out the bathroom and bedroom, and that is on the center kitchen island, you do have plugs on both sides. So if you want to plug in any other appliance like an electric griddle or maybe a blender, you can easily do so. All right, folks, why don't we come on and take a look at the bathroom and bedroom. In the bathroom, you'll see we're gonna have our vanity with storage underneath. Great countertop space there as well. And then right up above that is going to be your mirrored medicine cabinet with storage behind that. You get a beautiful one-piece residential shower enclosure with a tri-slide glass door. You're also gonna have your stainless steel hand wand as well as some shelving space and a huge oversized sunroof up top. Really lets in a lot of light, gives you height. To the side of that's our linen closet. So when you're done showering, you can just reach right in there, grab a towel, perfect space for that. And then underneath, you're gonna have a heat duct as well as your stool with plenty of leg room. In the bedroom, as you can see, we're gonna have our queen bed. It's gonna be set in a slide out. That way it's a fully walk around bed with plenty of room. Also on both sides, you will get shelves, windows as well for a nice cross breeze, and you'll have electrical outlets on both sides in case you need to charge any devices or plug in a CPAP machine. Directly behind me is gonna be our wardrobe. Great wardrobe space. You have a nice shelf up top, a light in here, as well as great uh, space underneath, and you will have uh, cubby holes for shoes. On the other side right here, you do get additional space, great storage space, or if you do want washer and dryer, this is where it would go. It's already gonna be prepped. Your washer and dryer uh, prep will be right there. At the foot of the bed, you do have right here, chest of drawers, you're gonna have four drawers, always great to have a dresser in here, as well as up top, you'll have your plugins for a TV, mount that right on the wall, that way if you wanna watch some TV before you go to bed, you can certainly do so. All right, folks, thanks for joining me. Again, this is a 2016 Sabre 33 CKTS. Beautiful floor plan. You have a ton of storage in that kitchen. Great countertop space, solid surface countertops. You have your Lazy Boy recliners, huge TV straight across, fireplace, rear picture window, so many things that are just on point with this floor plan. If you do have any questions or comments, please go ahead and leave those on the video, or you can give me a call here at American RV, and I'll be happy to answer them that way as well. Thanks folks, hope you have a great camping season, and I can't wait to see you on your road to freedom.